immediately during that prayer service, this joy and this energy overwhelmed me to the point that I had never felt that way. Are you experiencing tension and pressure in your workplace, in your business, your career, your finances? Today, I speak to that person under the influence of pressure and tension. Be released, be released, be released right now. I speak to every spirit that is tired, that is burned out. I declare renewal right now. Be renewed, be renewed, be renewed in Jesus' name. So brother, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Can you start by telling us your name, your country, and share your wonderful testimony for the glory of God? My name is Philip. I'm from the United States. My testimony is regarding pressure, tension, and stress that I was facing at work. That was one of the issues that I was was facing. This pressure and stress was so severe at work that it really severely impacted my performance to the point that I could not concentrate on my work. My work was, load was piling up. Um, I work in a customer uh, service role um, within the banking industry. So there's a lot of customers that I have to follow up with, a lot of emails that I have to do. And it got to the point where I um, not only got a verbal warning, but I will also got a written warning. My ability to focus was so impacted that even though I was taking, uh, I got the calls, I, I, I wasn't responding in a timely manner. There was no way for me to focus. And that also impacted my ability to read the word. I couldn't read the word. Every time that I went close my eyes, I'd either think of, oh my gosh, I have to do this. There's, I have to respond to this email. I had to do this. My bosses were, were micromanaging me and it just became really difficult. So I, I remember one specific day where I got up in frustration and I, I almost went to the point of tears just out of frustration. Like, I really can't take this anymore. It made me feel very depressed because I knew that I had responsibilities to, to do and I I just couldn't get myself to perform. There were points that were, where I would have nightmares. It was as if there was nothing that I could do. There was just a constant sense of frustration all around and that just caused me to even feel more depressed, leave, lose more energy. So overall, it just felt as if I there was no escape from this situation. I started to look for jobs um, in other in other companies, and it got me even more depressed and frustrated when nobody responded, or if they did respond, I wouldn't get through with an interview. So things just kept on as if I was just in a stagnant cycle uh, of frustration. Everywhere I turned, it was just frustration, and I was running out of energy. Because during that time period, my energy levels were so low. I had to be drinking caffeinated beverages. Um, I had to have coffee in the mornings just to get energy and have multiple cups of co coffee or caffeinated beverages during the day. And I still wasn't getting anything done. So there was this severe lethargy I didn't have energy to do things at home. My life was just completely, uh, just this lack of energy. But I've been following Brother Chris and I was privileged to join uh, the prayer service in August. Mind you, this is a few weeks um, after I had been written up um, and had a verbal warning. I was praying along that Saturday, Saturday morning and the first time Pastor Chris mentioned it, I was expecting, you know, breakthrough in other areas. Pastor Chris mentioned anywhere there is uh, stress and tension at work. When he first said it, I didn't think any of it, anything of it. But the second time he mentioned it, I was like, oh, that's, I'm, that's what I'm going through. And the first thing that hit me was an immense sense of energy immediately during that prayer service this joy and this energy overwhelmed me to the point that i had never felt that way in a like the best way, the best way can describe it as if i had this sudden burst of energy just 
burst inside of me to the point where I was dancing with, with, with my son and we were dancing even during the midst of the prayer and I was rejoicing and I knew at that point something had changed. To be frank, I, I was expecting to kind of fall down. So I was kind of making sure that I had a little bit of space just in, just in case. But that didn't happen. And, um, I remember the pastor saying, you don't have to react a certain way. And that's why I said, the first thing that I remember is that when Pastor Chris mentioned pressure and tension at work, it didn't register to me. But the second time he mentioned it is as if something clicked, like my spirit connected to it. There was just this sudden overwhelming burst of energy and peace and joy because I knew at that point something had changed. All of a sudden, my workload, it was not that stressful. Things that I needed to respond to, suddenly I responded to all of them. There was peace at work. My managers who started to who had started to micromanage me, they were they now saw me in a favorable light. And it was only a few weeks before that I had gotten, it was actually two verbal warnings and a written warning, which a written warning is, is, is the most severe because that's on, on, on a record. I had an end of year review that was coming up. And this is, this is the part that really amazes me. My end of year review was only a few weeks also after the interactive prayer in August. I was not expecting uh, a raise and I was not expecting to get a bonus based on my performance because I knew that I had not been performing up to standard. But between that short period of time, I, at my end of year review, my bosses gave me a bonus and they gave me a raise as well. And believe me, since that time period, that pressure and tension, that lack of energy around work has not been there. If I drink coffee, it's because I want to drink coffee, not because I need some energy. And the most important thing is that my appetite for the word has been opened up. Like I am craving more and more to spend time in the word. And I think that is the best thing even greater than the bonus, even greater than the raise, is that my appetite for the word has been opened up. My performance at work has increased, yes. Um, I have favor with my, with my bosses and my supervisors now, but that joy that comes with just spending time in the word is, is, is one of the greatest things that I've experienced since then. I am sleeping peacefully if I'm awake late is because uh, it's my two-year-old is keeping me awake not because I'm thinking about I'm anxious about anything at work or because my spirit is heavy um, when I sleep I sleep peacefully there is nothing hindering me anymore there is I don't think about emails or work that I have to respond to, uh, that I have to respond to. Um, one of the things that I was constantly in fear of losing my job due to my performance, um, that anxiety is completely gone. I am no longer anxious about that. So at night when I sleep, I sleep in peace. What is your advice to viewers all over the world who are listening to your faith building testimony right now? Uh, just three simple pieces of advice is one, um, God is interested in every area of our life. I, I would not have thought that God would be interested in the pressure and tension and stress that we go through at work, but he was so interested. He knows the number of years we have on our head, how much more he's interested in everything that we go through, that he's in control of everything that we go through. So one, just know that God is aware and he's interested in what you're going through. Two is to one make god's word the standard the foundation on which we stand and that's the, one of the most important things and and thirdly keep watching god's heart tv and join in as often as you can bring your family in as much as possible tell others about it spread the word and join a living church but please remain connected to god's heart tv this is definitely of god god is definitely doing something through this channel so spread the word and stay tuned